<coughs> it's 4 30 a.m. in the morning. I woke up with 39.2 degrees, and I think I'm gonna go to the hospital. I can't take it anymore because my head is burning like mad. 39.2, that's a new record for me. <sighs> Alright. On March 24, Davius, a 25-year-old student, tested positive for COVID-19 after returning home from the UK. Despite the growing number of cases daily, there are sentiments that the younger generation is not taking the COVID-19 situation seriously. We spoke to Davius to hear about his experience as a young person battling COVID-19. Okay, hi, I'm Davius. Uh, I'm 25 this year. I study in the UK, specifically Newcastle University. Firstly, I don't have a clear indication of how I got the virus, but I do have a rough idea of how I might have gotten it if I trace back my steps. So back in early March, uh, it was still pretty much like life as per normal in the UK. At that point of time, hangouts for me was hugely reduced. Or rather, it was just between my circle of friends and I never really went out since March started. But there was just one celebratory night that I went on with my international friends that uh, it was somewhat like a social school event. Basically, during the night, uh, I think I might have shared some drinks and you know how in a club you might touch the tables, the walls and the cups and everything. So uh, you, I might have touched my face as well. I mean, even for someone like me, I went out with masks in the UK, I used gloves and uh, when I went to grocery shopping. So it only took just one night out or hang out to contract the virus even though I took necessary precautions in the other days. What was your response when NCID caught you and told you that you are tested positive? Uh, I would have to say, in one word, emotional. Like, it was hard to tell my family and uh, my friends as well. But firstly, I was really glad to have decided to stay away from my family because uh, when I came back, uh, I knew my sister was pregnant and my, my parents were not very young either. Back then, uh, in day three or day four, I, had, I was showing symptoms like a high fever. So I was having like a uh, high fever as high as 39.7 degrees. So at that moment, I told myself I had to be strong. It's more about thinking that, oh, <clears throat> I won't be so unlucky to get a virus or I'm young, my immune system should be strong enough to uh, combat the virus. But honestly, you can see that there are more increasingly, increasingly more younger people um, contracting the virus and even passed on from it as well. It's a serious issue and something that is not to be underestimated about. And also, from my own experience, uh, like if you think you don't care or that the healthcare services are good enough to help you recover, then think again. Because like my condition is considered quite mild, where I have experienced slight shortness of breath, chest pain, nausea, lost sense of taste and smell, uh, and even fatigue to the point where I can't really get out of bed. So you can imagine how it is for those people whose cases are more severe. And it's already been my 18th day being isolated alone, but I'm still tested positive. So before anyone uh, assume that, you know, you're young and you can easily recover from the virus, I think you should think again. So I think there's one question that we are all very curious about. How's the food there? How's the hospital food? Uh, to be honest, I can't taste. I mean, I, 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 it has been recovering slowly, but I still can't really taste and I still can't really smell. So when people ask me this question, I can't answer this question because I don't know how the hospital food is, but it looks good. You know, as a, as a young person, right? What's your take on like the, even before the circuit breaker measures implemented, like they, they just kept going out for clubs <coughs> to drink, you know, posting on their Insta story, you know, one last day before the circuit breaker measures start. What's your take on that? I can't stress this enough, like how important it is to take the circuit breaker measures seriously, because I understand how it, it feels to want to go out, have fun, have drinks with friends play sports and games with friends, uh, eat with friends, or even party with friends. 
Uh, but always remember that the virus is still alive and spreading. And even when you go out for your last party or last meal outside, uh, technically, you are also giving yourself the last opportunity to contract the virus and spreading it even further to your members of your household. So, heed the government's advice, take the circuit breaker measures seriously and just stay home, stay safe, and just for the sake of yourself and your loved ones.